Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol OTTV. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past several days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I've done this analysis quite a few times in the past, did it yesterday. So that's where these green line and red line annotations are coming from, but definitely some updates here need to be made after uh, the bears took a pretty big bite out of this one. So let's first just start with the initial, actually I'm gonna do a little house cleaning and get rid of that line up there. Sure it still pertains, but not really relevant right now and I don't wanna have lines all over the place and risk causing clutter and confusion. So we'll just keep this as clean as possible. So the first update though is based on a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So if you did watch the video from yesterday, Hopefully you remember me talking about 003 as that level of support. And on top of that being a level of support, it was kind of like uh, uh, the stars aligning. You had the, the 003, but you also had the pink line right there, which is the famous 200 period simple moving average. So it was kind of like a double whammy of support. Uh, and you know, given that the bears were able to push down through it, uh, you know, that's a pretty big sign of strength on their parts. But when you consider all the volume that occurred on that break, it kind of makes sense. There was plenty of selling pressure that you know uh, had that break uh, you know, happen. Am I saying the price can never get back above 003? Not saying that at all. Just saying that according to, you know, foundational principles in charting, when levels of support are broken, they tend to act as resistance. So 003 on any sort of bounce next week is going to be that first hurdle uh, that you're going to want to see the bulls fight back above. Now, as far as levels of support are concerned, we got to scrunch up the chart here because we have to go back further into the charts history here. So next potential area of support, oh, is that where the price bounce off? Oh, that makes perfect sense right there at the 002 area. Why do I say that makes perfect sense? Well, if you go back through the history of the chart, you can see that right here during this pullback, this was exactly the bottom of that pullback and consolidation period. Fast forward to today, and you can't make this stuff up, literally bounced right from that area. So 002, 0021, whatever you wanna call it, that range right there is definitely a key area of support uh, going into next week. So in a nutshell, key support, 002, key resistance, 003, and we'll see how next week all unfolds, but a whole lot of volume to close out the week, so we'll see how it all uh, un unfolds and, and out. Sorry about that, there is a little technical glitch there. I, I might have repeated myself. But anyways, we'll see how everything unfolds next week. So sit back and uh, if that volume stays strong, there could be some uh, tradable opportunities for sure. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.